everybody, this is Saberx coming to you live with a brand new video review for the Beasts of the Mesozoic. And today we are going to be looking at the 118th scale well, Tyrannosaurus Rex juvenile action figure by Creative Beast Studio and David Silva. So here we are. There it is in all its glory. And before we take a look at this incredible figure any further, Let's take a look at the packaging for it, shall we? So, gently moving this beautiful toy out of the way for a minute, let's take a look at the packaging. <laughs> so, there we have our Beasts of the Mesozoic Tyrannosaur series packaging for the juvenile Tyrannosaurus Rex. And the artwork is done by none other than the incredible artist R.J. Palmer, who also did the package work for the adult mainline Tyrannosaurus Rex. <laughs> and inside, as you can see, there is a piece of cardboard which has this beautiful printed image which you can use as a backdrop for your figure. Basically, you can set up your own miniature diorama to go along with it. <laughs> and of course, on the back, you also get information about how to the juvenile Tyrannosaurus Rex, as well as a look at all the Wave 1 figures in her that are also a part of the line. <laughs> and of course, along with this incredible figure that her, there is also inside the box a collector card, which is this. Now, unfortunately, this version is pixelated, but um, I am actually getting the uh, replacement card for this, courtesy of David Silva himself. If you get pixelated versions of this card, um, or any card for the Wave 1 Tyrannosaurs, just contact him on Facebook, and he will have them replaced as per your specifications and which figure um, had this happen to. So, moving on. On the back you see your obligatory product shot, and of course this beautiful bit of information about the juvenile T-Rex. <laughs> and, of course, in addition to that, you also get the ever-important instructions, which you can see here. Her. So, there are actually quite a few different instructions on here for the Juvenile Tyrannosaurus. One of them is, of course, the most important. When you who apply the tail to the body, you have to heat it up with a hairdryer, otherwise it's not going to come up on properly. It's not going to pop on properly. And you'll end up getting frustrated and possibly breaking the ball joint it attaches to. And nobody wants that. Now, this figure can stand without a base, as it shows here, but um, it's not recommended long term because, one, the gait of this particular Tyrannosaur is so narrow that it doesn't stand up well for very long, and mine actually cannot stand up on its own because one of the ball joints is slightly too loose. That can be fixed with a little bit of floor polish to the, to the ball joint. Um, and the bit he also has, in addition to that, um, pegs on it, which we will zoom in on in a minute, um, that you can adhere the figure to. Um, it actually does have peg holes in the bottom of its feet, so you can actually, um, yeah, you can actually adhere it to the base, and it comes with this translucent stand that the Raptors also come with as well. Now, I'm going to take out the different pieces for the uh, translucent stand, so you can actually see what else it comes with in addition. And these include a much smaller um, translucent piece, which you can use as a low chest, chest cradle to better showcase the figure in all its glory. 
And it also comes with this piece, which also is present in the dromaeosaurs, the raptors. And like that, you can actually uh, clip it to the back of the figure or to one of the figure's lower legs, like right here. And uh, yeah, you can do all sorts of dynamic poses with it. Now, we also, of course, along with the figure, get two sets of extra toes. <laughs> now, I haven't tried attaching these yet to my T-Rex figure, but uh, here they are. Yeah, they, this is one of the mid-step sets of uh, feet, as you can see here. <laughs> so these are for when your T-Rex is taking a step and it's about to lift its foot off the ground. And then there are these beautiful sets of running toes. And as you can see here, the running toes also have that peg. So you can actually have closed feet on the ground if you so choose to. Now, all you have to do is gently heat them up with a hair dryer to loosen them up and soften the plastic and then pop off the joint it's on the main feet on, hey, that are attached to the figure at present and uh, there you have it. You can switch them out whenever you want. And you won't need to do this more than like one or two times uh, to get them uh, loose enough so that you can actually do this. But um, just use caution because you don't want to break your figure accidentally. But um, yeah, I haven't personally put these uh, f these little feet on the uh, Tyrannosaurus, the juvenile Tyrannosaurus, because I didn't really feel a need to. But um, yeah, if you want to do that, you can. Now. Zooming in on this fantastic figure, like so. Let's bring him a little closer. And bring him in like this. So here we have our juvenile T-Rex. And as you can see, he is absolutely gorgeous. Now, like the main the mainline uh, adult Tyrannosaurus Rex, the coloration for this animal is based off that of a real animal, in this case, the earless monitor lizard. And compared to my last review um, regarding Tyrannosaurus, where you got to see the walking with dinosaurs variants and the um, dino riders variant adult, uh, that was also 118th scale. This is a very, very different hand figure. Um, personally, I kind of like to think that this might be a female um, variant, but that's just me, and I'm a little, a little biased in regards to that because of the fact that um, I've seen images of the specimen of Jane the T-Rex, so yeah, this kind of makes me want to imagine that this is Jane herself or possibly another juvenile female T-Rex. Now, the detail work is absolutely incredible. I mean, these little scales, all of them, just absolutely gorgeous. I love the transitions as well from the um, spotted and striped. All of this is just absolutely glorious. And I love the stark contrast of the black and the white um, at the top of the figure's body. I mean, look at this. This is, this is absolutely incredible. Now, articulation-wise, it has oh, so many different points of articulation. Um, but, yeah, the, jo the neck moves back and forth, as well as up about that much, about down that much. And the jaws, of course, open and close. The tongue is also on a ball joint, but um, mine has a propensity not to move all that much, so I'm not going to really bother with it, but I love posing it with the jaws open. The arms can do a full 360 on this particular figure, and they can also move at the elbow, like so, and swivel at the shoulder, and yeah, at the elbow as well, so you also got wrist swivel, but you don't really want to do that because you'll end up quote-unquote breaking 
um, the T-Rex's risks because as T-Rex does not hold its hands pronated like a like this. Um, it actually holds its hands sideways with palms facing inward like this. And the wrists also have a swivel, have a friction joint here where you can actually pose them inward and outward like so. <laughs> and honestly, I do like to have them like that just like that. Now, the torso can move up about this much. It's actually fully up right now and down about that much. So you get quite a range of mov movement, and it can move side to side, like so, left and right. Now, in addition to this, the tail can also move, because it's got a wire inside it, and it can move quite substantially. I, you can curl it around in any direction you want. Um, to make it look uh, even more dynamic. It can also be posed up and down. And honestly, I really just love how this looks. Just absolutely glorious. Now, in regards to the legs, you also get movement of about this far forward at the hip because of this torso piece here. It can't move any higher without um, potentially popping out, at least as far as I've found. But it can also move back about this far, like so. So, yeah, he's got pretty substantial, yeah, the T-Rex the Juvenile has much more substantial movement, uh, much greater range of motion than the adult um, figure. But that that's because, yeah, the adult figure is just so massive and just so, so differently articulated. It, it just, it can't pull off all the poses that the juvenile can. But it also moves at the knees about this far, or back, and this far forward at the herd. And the ankle goes about this far, or back, this far forward, just like so. <laughs> so you end up getting quite a range of motion in that. And the feet also are on ball joints. So you can actually have it go up, down, and there is a um, swivel there. So you can actually have it be very, very dynamically posed. Now, again, um, some people can get their uh, juvenile Tyrannosaurus figures to stand up. I have tried before to get mine to do this, but uh, mine does not like to stand up on its own. It, uh, yeah, this this uh, right foot does not exactly have the most stable uh, joint. I mean, it's possible, but might not be for mine. Yeah, not possible for mine, simply because it's just so, yeah, just so much more loose in regards to some of its joints than mine. But I don't, I'm not really bothered by that. Um, yeah, I'm not really bothered by that. It, it, not, not that big a deal for me because uh, I don't really feel that this dinosaur should be posed without his base long term. Now, the base is also very cool. Um, you, as you can see, it's got little pegs in here um, for the feet. And, yeah, just beautifully, beautifully painted. And you can, of course, see all these footprint uh, imprints inside, uh, on the base. So you can imagine this juvenile T-Rex is walking across a trackway that may have become fossilized. And uh, it's following the trail. Now, on the other side, nothing really um, special about that, but... Very, very interesting, and of course, it's got the joint for the, yeah, yeah, it's got the um, peg for this translucent clear stand, so you can actually stand your juvenile T-Rex up. Now, I discovered something interesting about this um, base and the figure itself. Um, the instructions generally say you shouldn't pose the figure into the base with more than one foot pegged in at a time. 
But I found you can actually do that uh, without uh, damaging the figure, um, so long as this clear translucent stand is up. And you can actually have it doing a full-on walking pose like this, where you can actually peg it in and have the stand support the rest of the body weight, like so. So that way, your juvenile T-Rex can look fully dynamic, and because of the stride length on this figure, the fact that it can stretch its legs out so far um, without the risk of popping out or breaking or anything like that, it looks completely realistic and still allows you to really have your figure um, balanced and positioned in a way that it's going to remain stable. I, I mean, it's absolutely phenomenal. Just really well designed figure. I absolutely flippin' love it. <laughs> it it's just incredible. And again, T-Rex is just an incredible animal. The juvenile, no more, yeah, no less so than um, the adult. And juvenile Tyrannosaurus Rex are very rare to find. Um, yeah, we only have a couple of specimens uh, of Tyrannosaurus um, as juveniles, including the Jordan theropod, which is still not entirely well described. Um, and that's the youngest specimen in regards to its ontogeny, its growth rate. Um, then we have Jane, which is the most complete, well, one of the most complete, I should say, because the Bloody Mary specimen, which is the mo most complete T-Rex ever found, uh, yeah, way more complete than Jane. But uh, we also, of course, have the Cleveland skull, um, which is another... Uh, juvenile T-Rex. And for a long time, juvenile Tyrannosaurus were so... Yeah, juvenile Tyrannosaurus were so different looking that they were thought to be Nanotyrannus. I mean, some people still disagree with that and think Nanotyrannus is its own genus, but this same type of build is actually seen in a lot of other Tyrannosaurids um, of similar... Uh, body size and proportion, including Tyrannosaurus's Asian cousin, Tarbosaurus, not to mention uh, in other uh, large Tyrannosaurs such as Gorgosaurus and Despletosaurus, as well as, um, yeah, as well as Albertosaurus and <sighs> Teratophonius. The, we have enough specimens of these animals to know that they went from slender, gracile, fast-moving juveniles to lumbering um, ambush predators that probably pursued their prey over long distances through steady tracking before they decided to um, go after it with a quick burst of speed from cover. But, yeah. Absolutely phenomenal. And, yeah. It, we're going to get to learn so much more about these juvenile Tyrannosaurus and all their, the juveniles from these animals in the years to come. Not in the least because we now have a 98% complete specimen, the Bloody Mary specimen, from the, Man from the Montana dueling dinosaurs that is going on display at the North Carolina Museum of Natural Sciences. Um, for anyone who's not familiar with it, uh, that particular specimen was um, found in the Badlands of Montana and sold at auction where it was bought by the museum for about, I think it was about $9 million. Um, it was just so well preserved and so complete that the, the museum could not pass up the chance to let it fall into private hands. Th this is a specimen that is absolutely unique. Two very large dinosaurs, a juvenile Tyrannosaurus rex and a... what may be either a sub-adult or an adult Triceratops um, preserved together in what 
many scientists believe may have been a battle to the death. Um, there is evidence in the form of tooth marks on the bones uh, that the Triceratops had its throat ripped out by the juvenile T-Rex, while the juvenile T-Rex bears damage that appears to be from trampling by the Triceratops, and both were rapidly buried together um, after, the, after they sustained what apparently were fatal injuries to one another. So, yeah, we have what is probably the second incident well, the second incident of uh, dinosaurs locked in combat to the death. So, very, very cool in that regard. And, yeah, it's just absolutely incredible. Now, size comparison-wise, um, for some of these figures, this is 1 18th scale. So, here it is with a Zuni Ceratops for size. So, you can see... He's not a, a small figure. He came in a box about the same size as that that the Zuni Ceratops came in. But, um, yeah, the Juvenile T-Rex is still a much bigger figure, just because it's lankier and longer. Here it is compared with a sub-adult Triceratops. So, if I wanted to, I could reenact the uh, Montana Dueling Dinosaurs fossil. <laughs> Um, and have them fighting one another to the death if I so chose to, but uh, yeah, that's the ju the subadult uh, Triceratops uh, for size comparison. Now, uh, if I was to compare him with a much larger figure like this adult Triceratops, <clears throat> you can see this is quite small compared to a ju to the adult Triceratops figure. Yeah, and that's nothing. Wait until you see the big boy. <laughs> so here it is with the adult Dino Riders T-Rex, just for scale, because this is how a juvenile Tyrannosaurus Rex compares with its adult counterpart. As you can see, it doesn't even and fit all the way on screen. And it just goes off in, into, into space. <laughs> but yeah, that is absolutely... Yeah, it, 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 it's absolutely tiny compared to the adult uh, Tyrannosaurus Rex. But absolutely gorgeous, nevertheless. Now, this is actually one of the... Yeah, this is absolutely one of the uh, cheaper figures for the Beasts of the Mesozoic uh, toy line. It, it's much more affordable than, say, the adult Tyrannosaurus Rex. Um, or at least the adult 118th scale T-Rex. The 135th scale T-Rex is comparable in price, maybe about I would say $10 more overall. But, um, yeah, so this is like $55, maybe $60 um, at most in regards to price. But um, if you can afford it, it is well worth getting. It, it might take a little bite out of your wallet, but it's not going to take um, a huge chunk out of it like the adult T-Rex would um, at 1 18th scale. So if you want uh, the, uh, you, if you want a juvenile T-Rex uh, and an adult T-Rex for good prices, um, yeah, this one, uh, this one is definitely a good one to get along with the, the 135th scale um, if you're on a budget. But um, yeah, it is well worth it, and I am absolutely thrilled um, to absolute, to, to have this. This is, without a doubt, one of my favorite uh, of the Wave 1 figures. It, it, it's, too, it's just so beautiful. And, yeah, I can't recommend it enough. It, it's, it's beautiful. And for anyone who has problems with the um, 
adult Tyrannosaurus's articulation, this is definitely one you're going to have a lot more fun posing with if you, if you um, have something to complain about with the adult T-Rex, because this one can do things that the adult can't. Um, but yeah, well worth the time and money to get. So yeah, if you, if you want this, um, if you want a, a small T-Rex, this is definitely one of the ways to go. So this is Saber Rex signing off saying, you're never too old to play with toys. Hey, be a toy nerd, be proud of it. Thank you, and see you next time. Have a good day. Bye-bye.